back to Cut Above Tarot, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other placements. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and comment button. Get in where you fit in, Virgo. And if you don't find that in this video, please check your other placement. I see you there, too. Cruising and viewing. I'll be appreciated. Return and subscribe. But thank you for your support. And if you're checking in on a friend, cause baby, even me, Virgo. Hey, friend. Now, Virgo, I am doing your lunch hour messages, all right? Virgo, it's better late than never, right? So I'm trying to uh make up for my 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 uh my my not being here on time. Anyway, Virgo, my apology. Virgo, I am uh I pulled some cards so far, and you have I pulled out your your uh your love oracles, and this is wild to me. Okay, this is wild because I've never had the cards come out like this. Check this out. All right, and first thing it says, uh, in, uh, for your action card, it says, and this is lunch hour, right? Runner. Now, I don't know if you're going to be really running for lunch or, or you're out there doing something for lunch, running, but in love, it's saying that runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So you could be running away from a relationship. Oh, your person could, right? Monday out doing this. So somebody running away from relationship because you, you're scared of intimacy. All right. The reaction to that is like the golden mirror. Somebody is a narcissist. All right. Self-absorbed. It's a one-sided relationship. Maybe somebody love bombing you. Or maybe you love, love bombing them, but somebody running. Okay. All right. Your outcome on that. Either you're going to end up being a chaser or this other person is going to be a chaser. So one of y'all running, the other one is chasing. That's some crazy shit. I don't even understand it either. I knew it. But it's a chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment and issues. So one of y'all afraid of being uh, by yourself and the other person is over here afraid of intimacy. All right. This person listens to their ego. Wow. And this person over here just feel like they have to be a part in a relationship i gotta have somebody close to me oh wow okay now one more card check this out virgo now that you got the self-absorbed card the narcissist card which they call that the golden mirror meaning that there's none above you darling it's all about me 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 right okay so now they're saying the last card is the mirror card you and this person are going to be matching out each other's energy. You're going to be giving each other exactly what the other person is giving them. Baby, I don't want to be the fly on the wall on this one. But it do say, <laughs> it's a mirroring each other's self-image relationship. Reflect our wounds, introspection. Oh, wow. Virgo, they want you to make some healthy choices, okay, when it comes to your relationship. All right? Yeah. Make some healthy choices. In love and in your life, self-love, self-care, and being happy. They want you to be more happier than you've ever been. Even if that means going outside shooting marbles, okay? Like you was when you was a little young, young. All right? All right. Now, your tarot card says that this runner, because of the runner. Hold on, the cards are falling. Okay. All right. They say because of this runner, uh, you and your feelings are, or they are. One of y'all is feeling mighty moody, okay? behind this here because you're not trying to understand what the hell all right so the golden mirror says that whoever this person is <coughs> that's a narcissist all right ace of wands is on that rascal mm -hmm. all about them 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 mm -hmm. yeah this person's in it okay all right this person could also be very am uh amorous you know what i'm saying okay just love to have S E X, you know what I'm saying, all the time. Mm -hmm. So, on the outcome of the chaser, um, outcome is the chaser. You got the Knight of Cups, okay? Somebody coming in offering a, a small cup of love, okay? Maybe helping hand. This could be a young person. This could be a relationship between young people, okay? When I say young people, I mean people that are between. I'm gonna say 18 to uh to 26. All right. This could also be a young person that needs some guidance because, you know, everybody don't know how to go about uh, uh, cultivating a relationship in a positive way. 
some people only go by what they see on TV or what they remember seeing on TV or what they've seen in other people, you know, as they was growing up. Which though that too can be building blocks, okay, to allow you to be able to figure out what path that you want to take and how you want to govern yourself or, or want the world to see you as. So what you can do, and uh, this is just a suggestion, uh, you can pray about it, you can meditate about it, you know. You can also find books on etiquettes, all right? But uh, the best way a man or a woman can can love another person is if they have the love of God in them and they love themselves. Because if you allow God to be the head of your relationship, things will always work out. And there will always be real love in that relationship. And even if somebody decides they want to try to step out, they, chances are they won't. And if they do, they'll be convicted before the act. Yeah. Anyway, you got two more cards because you remember this one. It was in my hand like this. Okay, so this card I'm going to hold on to for one more minute. All right, so um, you have the Queen of Wands here. All right, they want you to know if this is you, Virgo, that you are protected. Okay? You are protected spiritually, so, all right? So if you're the runner and you're running from intimacy, they're telling you it's okay, you know? You are protected spiritually and naturally so. You also have the world card. That's the one in my hand. They're saying that there's something that you have been working on, okay, that is... Uh, that you don't have to put that much effort in no more. All right, just allow things to just start unfolding, coming your way. World card also can mean that you got some success coming in, all right, especially in your relationship. Now, as far as this person with the golden mirror, okay, the narcissist, uh, this person been doing this for a very long time, and they've almost, they have pretty much perfected it. This person enjoys what they do, okay. But it looks like in the long run, you're going to mirror back to this person the same energy that they've been giving you. And uh, you're going to make some better choices for yourself in life and health and love. All right, Virgo, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Yay, yay. <laughs>